Alright guys, so here's an unboxing of the new Liebherr LTM 1350. I'm wait. I ordered it uh, on Friday, about a, almost a week and a half ago. It just now came, finally. Taking forever for it to the tracking new photo update <clears throat> is driving me nuts because we didn't update for like eight days. Right. It still hasn't updated up, I think. Last time I checked, like 30 minutes ago before I got home, it still hasn't updated. I'm really excited to get this. Here's the box. It's like a typical NZG box. But this is made by WSI. Okay. I got this from Fritz's model Bears or Bors, I don't know how you say it. It's a German company. Dutch company. Here's the manual. Came to three hundred and eighty-seven dollars. So here's the top tray. I'm kind of worried about these jib sections because I've been reading on the other diecast forums and a lot of them have been twisted or bent. This one's a little twisted. I don't know if you can really tell, but. It's twisted a little bit, but not bad. Not sure why they're twisted. But it's kind of Here's the adjustable section. Got your etched walkways on it. Pretty nice with metal sheaves. There's one in there. It's the adapter. It's a little twisted. Hooks a little bent. I don't know why they're twisted like that. This one's a little twisted too. And I, I don't really like these little, how they 
assembled this. It's probably easier to assemble it like that, but it just looks ugly, to be honest. Here's a reducer section. Here's the tip. Metal sheaves. There's the tools, the nuts and bolts. There's two probably starting set trays, tray sets in here. Kind of disappointing to get twisted sections when it's a brand new model. <clears throat> but luckily, they're not twisted really, really bad. They're twisted just enough to notice. But I mean, I can live with it. Here are your outrigger base plates. They're all metal. You got lifting lugs on them. Pretty nice. I'm glad they come with it. I guess there's a tie off point or something. Handrails. A bunch of parts. Winch key, your hook, a whip line tip. Here's the counterweights. really heavy the thing I don't like about these are they they don't have lifting lugs on them they're like the NZG weights on the 11200 and LR 1300 here's the other weights Counterweight tray. <clears throat> it's really nice. Nice they have that strung already. Your luffing bridle. Hopefully there's enough string on there though. This is really nice. Two screws, you can take that off if you want but I'm pretty sure you can transport this all in one piece like that here's one of the wings I really like how these are able to come off separate there's a stand for it it's a really nice feature. It's really cool. Make a nice separate load. Here's the other one.
pendants are metal. These cylinders are plastic. They got a casted line on it, it looks like. Or that's just excess. And they got lifting points on them. You can lift. It's really cool. Now for the main part. Not as heavy as I thought it would be. <laughs> That's really nice. It's really, really nice. <laughs> it's definitely worth the wait. I just wish it had another winch on it, though. I like how they were plastic, though. The pendants are metal, but these little connections are plastic. <coughs> That's really nice. And they have a, it's like a YCC cylinder. You have an Allen screw in there. So you can adjust it. And they read your hook already for you. Comes with a line where you can run your hook to it for transport. It's nice. is really nice. <clears throat> I'm really glad I got it. I'll also be getting the Mamo Mamut, however you say it. It's the red and black version. But that, that one won't be here for probably another month or so. That's really, really nice. I'll get it all together and get a bunch of pictures up on my Facebook page. You can go check them out. They'll probably they should already be up by the time you watch this video. Here's the unboxing. I hope you liked it. Thanks for watching.